Hi guys, and today I'll be playing A Cry for Help, which is a short RPG narrative driven game where you call a friend for help. Where's my phone? This is my phone? Oh. Hey nerd, what's up? Sorry, life really caught up to me, so I haven't been able to take any calls. Anyway, Jesus, what happened to your room? It looks like a dump, no offense. Hey bro, you okay? Hey, I, I... Yo, deep breaths man, you're okay, you're okay. You wanna talk about it? That's fine. Hey, it's been a while. How about a room tour? Or a quick cleanup session? You're literally living in trash right now. That can't be healthy. You can clean that up while I'm here. How's that? Okay. So we're on to cleaning up our rooms. You've always been a lightweight. Didn't I throw up on you once? Yeah, my favorite shirt too. I had to haul your drunk ass back home. I still feel bad about that. I promised I'd buy you a new one. Sorry for never getting around to doing that. Ah, nah, no worries. I had too many clothes anyway. Now nah, clean these up. Make sure you put them in the recycling bin too. You're such an environmentalist. So let's clean up our room. All the beer bottles. You know, drinking's a lot more fun when you do with friends. We used to have beer nights. To this day, I still don't know how you were able to get your hands on that much alcohol without a valid ID. A pro never reveals his secrets. Let's clean these up. Make sure to recycle them. I hear ya. And on to our clothes. Are these washed or unwashed? Uh, both? Gross. Do your laundry, man. Wait. Aren't those gloves from that time? When? Remember? It was last year. We went out on that ski trip. Uh, yo! What? Why are you looking at me like that? Getting kinda cold out here, huh? Oh. Oh. You forgot to bring my gloves, didn't you? I may or may not have left them back at the lodge. I strangle you, but my fingers are frozen stiff. Does your jacket not have pockets? No, idiot. That's why I asked you to bring my gloves along in the first place. Ah, sorry. My pockets are warm if you want to stick your hands inside. I'd rather have them amputated. Fine, here, take one of my gloves. Bruh, better? Eh, a little. You cool? Buy me a burger and I'll call it even. It didn't help at all. You both ended up freezing. Good times. Good burger, too. Now go and toss these in the washing machine. Right now? Yes. Fine. Okay, now we're on to the garbage. Ugh, throw these out. It's starting to stink. Yeah, I probably should. I don't know how you're letting it get to this point. This is bad, bad. I know. Remember your first time coming over to my place? Yeah, what about it? You tripped into my trash bag. Is this about the pickle incident? Oh yeah, it's about the pickle incident. You really need to stop bringing that up all the time. It's funny. They call me the pickler throughout the entirety of middle school. That's on you for spilling pickle juice all over my par carpet. That's on you for having pickle juice in your trash bag. Sure, sure, pickle boy. Now throw out your trash before you step into it and make a repeat of last time. That's everything, I think. You probably still need to air the place out, but at least it's somewhat livable now. Cam? Yeah? Can I say something? I'm listening. I've been feeling overwhelmed these past two weeks. With everything. Nothing feels right, nothing feels like it has any meaning. I'm so angry, I'm so sad, and I'm so frustrated, confused, and guilty, and... And just... I feel so many things at once that I just... I can't process it. I'm stuck. I'm trapped in this constant hell while the world moves on. 
And it's just so tiring. Every little thing is so tiring. Talking is tiring. Eating is tiring. Living is tiring. I spent hours and hours just crying in my room. I cry until I can't cry anymore, and I cry some more. But no matter how much I scream and cry and suffer and hurt, I don't feel any better. The bad things stay with me. It's like a constant bite. I'm too exhausted to even breathe. I can't function. I can't do anything. I'm constantly on the verge of breaking down. And it hurts. It hurts a lot. I feel like I'm being ripped apart. I don't want to live with it anymore. I don't think I can live with it anymore. I know it was supposed to get better, but I'm not getting any better. I don't feel any better. I can't wrap my head around it that this person does not exist anymore. That I'll never be able to see their face, hear their voice, or give them a hug and I... I feel so bad, Cam. I feel so, so bad. I took so much of it for granted. I realize that now. And the worst part is, I'll never be able to tell them that. I'll never be able to look them in the eye and tell them how much I appreciate and love them. I'll never be able to, to let them know how much they mean to me. I can only regret. I can only think about all the what-ifs. Was there something I could have done to prevent this? I could have been more attentive. I could have been a better friend. I could have... Could have... Cam? Cam, are you there? Why'd you do that? Why didn't you tell me about it? Why didn't you let me know? If you did, I would have been there. I would have dropped everything and been there. I didn't want your monitor or a new chair or a new this or that. I just... I want my best friend back. Cam? Cam, are you there? I called your phone every day for the past two weeks. I would wait and wait, hoping you pick up. I hear your voice at the other end, laughing, calling me an idiot for believing you were actually gone. That it was all some sort of big misunderstanding or a stupid prank. But it, it would just ring. It would just ring. Cam, are you listening? I miss you, Cam. End of voicemail. Um, phone. Oh, so we can end the call. End it? What am I doing? Why even bother? I was never a fighter. I'm just tired. I just want to rest. We were tired of feeling this way too, right? I understand now. See you soon, Cam. Uh oh. I'm sorry, everyone. I hope I didn't leave a mess. I love you guys. Please take care. About the monitor? Yeah, 240 hertz? Sick. How's it feel? I think it's smoother. I can't really tell the difference. There hasn't been much of a change in my gameplay. You slip and you're still garbage at the game. I kicked your ass in that one versus one, remember? I was lagging. Let's run it back then. Can't. Don't have my shade anymore, remember? Wow, you got a lot of unopened messages. I don't feel like going through them. You shouldn't ghost them like that. At this rate, you're gonna lose whatever friends you have left. I really hate you sometimes. My bad, but my point still stands. They're worried about you, you know? I know, but it just all feels really tiring. How long has it been since you last left the house? Two weeks? Are you okay? No. I'm sorry. I know. So, where's your secret stash? What secret stash? Come on, you know what I'm talking about. You're gross, dude. I bet it's that shady looking folder labeled work. Open it. No. Eh, not much else to see here. Let's move on. Alright. Oh, dude, you still ball? Not as much anymore. Man, I remember we used to play for hours at the court after school. Joe had the sickest dunks, remember? Dude was flashy with it. And Nick had that crazy footwork going on. Jay and Adrian too. Their combo was deadly. 
The time would just fly by. I miss those days. Yeah, me too. Is there anything else to say? In the photo. Aw, oh, what? Is that the group photo we took that one time? No clue what you're talking about. Ha, <laughs> you got it framed in everything. Whatever, man, I appreciate my friends. You could just say you love us. No, that's cringe. You love us. No. Say it. No. Say it. No. <laughs> Whatever, Killjoy. I will say, I look great in that photo. Who took it anyway? Beats me. I know about as much as you do. I kinda miss it. The good old days. Yeah, how's everyone doing anyway? I'm not sure either. I fell out of contact with most of them after they all left for university. I know a few of the guys are in town right now though, and since they're in the area anyway, they wanted to meet up. Wait, for real? When is it? Tomorrow. I don't really feel like going though. You should man, seriously. I bet they miss you as much as you miss them. Will you be there too? You know I want to. Can't believe you're giving me shit for not going when you aren't either. Oh, hey man, I can exactly just drop by whenever I want. You used to. We're not kids anymore. Everyone's bu busy adulting now. I wish they didn't. I wish we never grew up. I'll call the guys and tell them I'm coming tomorrow. We're gonna have lunch at your favorite place, and then we'll pay a visit to your grave. You'll be there too, right? I'll bring flowers. I'll bring a jar of pickles too. I think you appreciate that. See you later, Cam. Take it easy. End of voicemail. We're never really gone. Traces of you remain. I carry you with me. And we move forward. Oh, that was so sweet. Okay, and that is the end of a uh, call for help. So basically, um, our friend Cameron like, died, um, I'm guessing by that way he didn't really feel like reaching out to anyone. Maybe he didn't feel like anyone else would understand him. And the character we're playing is like, I guess he's suffering through the same thing that Cameron did. And he feels like, you know, just like there's nothing he can do to change it and whatnot. So, I guess him talking to, like, Cameron again, like, through the voicemail, like, helped him move on in a way and such. But, yeah. Wow. That was so sad. That kind of made me tear up a bit. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye.